Hello, welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in this box? What I have here in my hands is the game Katana, a two-player samurai dueling card game by Tracy Allen. Uh, Tracy reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I'd be willing to do a review of a copy of their game. So that was provided. Um, no other compensation was provided. But what I'm doing tonight is opening up this box for the first time. I have not seen what's in here. Uh, the only thing I've seen is what's on the website. I don't even know what to expect here. So you're going to get to see this live, same time I am seeing it live. You get to see my um, reactions as, well not see, you'll hear my reactions as I open this up for the first time. So this is a two-player card game. It's a seizure sword. You are a samurai, an elite warrior in the heart of medieval Japan. Wield cards to attack and defend against your rivals. Purify yourself to summon the game-changing abilities of Kami. Master the ways of the warrior and rise as Shogun. So it sounds like you get some historic things here, but with the Kami being involved, that's a little different. So there are 50 action cards, 12 Kami cards, 24 shine cards, 10 health cards, 12 armor cards, and a gameplay guide. Uh, it's eight player, eight, ages 8 and up, uh, plays 2 players in about half an hour, according to the box. So before I take a look at what's inside, just a little bit of self-promotion. You can find me on the web at tabletopbellhop.com. Is www.tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, that is our main hub where we host everything we have. There's unboxing videos like these. I've got reviews of games, and I have answers to people's gaming and game night questions. Because we're trying to be a Dear Abby for Gamers where we answer your gaming questions. Now, if you've got a question for us, you can head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop, or you can just email me questions at tabletopbellhop.com. And one of the main things you'll find on that blog are answers to other people's questions like, what do you do with an RPG picky eater? You've got a player who plays the same thing every game. What can you do to break them out of that habit? Or should you do anything about breaking them out of their habit? All right, enough about me. We're going to take a look at what you get in this game. So all I'm going to do first is take off the shrink wrap. Then we're going to just move the camera down so you can get a closer look at what we've got here. All right, so here's the, the Katana box. Uh, it's just one of the top loaded. I'm gonna crack that open. Take a look at what we got inside. Oh, I should show you, here's the back of the box. Sword, not word. So we have, first off, the instructions. I dig that art already. I can't complain about that. Red, black, and white colors showing the different components. Gameplay overview and setup. Looks like a very simple style to the uh, the cards, which is probably a good thing. Looks like there's actual pictures of the cards in here, not just digital renders. See, so you can go kamikaze. So we are looking at a big 13 pages. That's not a, a huge, thick book for a card game. And then we have what you would expect is some cards. There is a divider in the middle there for the two different decks, so that's nice. So we've got different backs. I'm going to crack these open. Okay, we'll split these up by their card backs. That's probably the most logical way. Get the box out of the way for now. Okay, so we have four different decks. I'm going to start with the smallest one. These look like they are probably the common cards. So not knowing the rules for the game, I do dig the aesthetic. That is a, a nice, clear, easy to read and see from across the table. Okay. 
okay, we have different symbols here. Different in the top corner. Different amount of hearts here, different words here. Again, not knowing the game, this tells me nothing, unfortunately. It's almost an Art Deco look to it. I like it. So. So that is that deck of cards. This deck. Okay. Oh, we have two different ones. So these are probably uh, showing your health. So a whole bunch of cards with hearts on them. And possibly your armor or defense. A whole bunch of cards with dots. That was a simple one. Okay, here we have Adrenaline. This looks like uh, special abilities on the Anxiety, Boon, Dispel, Incinerate, Invincibility. And we're definitely moving further away from Historic here, I think. Omniscience, yeah, uh, Protection, Recovery, I don't know. I'm not going to go through all these. We're just going to flip through quick so you can get an idea. Again, the iconography is very solid. Uh, there is text. That is a little hard to read, though. I gotta say, that's, that's, that is a tiny white font on a dark background there. Of course, the symbol is pretty clear. See, the black's easy enough to read. Alright, so a whole bunch of weird special abilities and protection. Then we get into, I think these are your main, these are the main combat cards. From what I understand, this is the, the meat of the game. But without reading the rules, I have no clue. You got attack two, defense one, and a stance at the bottom. And then different symbols at the top, which I think just represent these. So if you're holding the cards in your hands, if you fan them this way, they show your attack. And if you fan them this way, they show your defense, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, two and one, two and one, stances, plus one to a future attack. It's a lot of the same card. Are they all the same? They can't all be the same. All right, no. So there's a significant number of those that are the same. So those were all the same. And then you got two and two with a plus one defense stance. And again, a significant number of those. Yeah, all of those same. And then you've got this one that says pollute, which is in green with a three attack, but pollute. Again, wow, a lot of the same card. And then this one, which has Purify and a three. And that is the rest of them. So there are actually only four different of these combat cards. And that's it. Um, I couldn't tell you too much more at this point, but I will note, I did get some little bonuses in here. So this game is due the 20th. The second edition is coming in 2021, so next year. And it does say, thank you for your time to play Katana. It did come with some tokens. So these tokens are to track the pollution and attack bonuses. You only get these if you buy the game through katanacardgame.com. If you buy them off Amazon or other sources, you do not get these. Now, because they shipped me the game, they did send these. And I got to say, these are nice little tokens. So I'm going to crack this open, just take a couple out. There's little cardboard tokens. Uh, obviously, that's the same symbol as the pollution. And then this is an attack. They're already pre-cut. So you get some bonus tokens. If you order directly from the store. So the other thing I have that was included in my copy is this. This is a booklet of gameplay examples. This is not something that will come with the retail version. It's something that they give to people who are doing demos of their games that shows you how to set up a demo game. So how to set up the table, um, how to start the game off, how to basically demo the game. So if you're doing demos of the game, you get this booklet and you go to your local game store, you go to a convention, this shows you how to walk through and teach the game. This is something they're gonna make available online and they're gonna use to record a video. But I thought it was really cool that the publisher sent this along with my review copy because I do run a lot of games at public events and I thought this was a nice touch. So again, I don't know the game. I haven't read the game. I have no clue. Uh, it's very abstract looking. I did, I actually really like the art. Like that is very clear, concise. I can see exactly what's going on. Their symbology looks really nice. My only complaint is until I learn the symbols, that font is tiny. Very, very, very small font. 
he might be able to read it. But other than that, uh, looks decent. Um, I, I dig the aesthetic. Card quality is very solid. That's a that's a nice card. You can't. It's standard thickness. Uh, they do have they have that they have a coating. You can kind of see it. I don't know if I can get a reflection. Usually, I don't want glare on my camera. But they are coated. They're not um, not just paper. There's that that linen finish. I'm trying to see if yeah, you can kind of see it there. There you go. You can see the right at the top on protection there. So there is a coating on all the cards. These will shuffle well. They should fit standard card sleeves. None of them are bent, which is a nice sign. None of the cards came bent. So there we have it. So for more information, you go to katanacardgame.com. I'm going to pack these up. I have no idea how I should stack these up, but we're going to try to put these types of cards and these types of cards separate and hope those fit back in the box like that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to split these up a little different. I don't remember how they were stacked when I opened it, unfortunately. No, that was not the answer. So at some point, I'll learn what order the cards go back in. In the meantime, I'm just going to split these two decks about evenly to slide these in. So one disadvantage I've got to say right off the start though is if you do have these counters, uh, there wasn't any cardboard punch out or anything I had to remove from this box. So there really isn't anywhere to put those. Heck, I'm having a hard enough time just getting the instructions back in the box here. So like that, that's a tight fit. There is no way you're gonna fit these in here anywhere. Um, personally, what this means to me is I'm probably going to store this game in a quiver because I own a quiver and I like the quiver. That's from Quiver Time. Bonus shout out to Quiver Time on this <laughs> unboxing. But yeah, these extra tokens, it's cool that you get them, but they're not going to fit back in this box. I do dig this though. That's a nice touch that the little, little like, demo guide, that's a, that's a cool, I've never seen another company do this. And in, in all the years I've played games, running events and public play events, I've never seen a demo guide. That's, that's a really nice touch. So there you have it. Um, that is a look at Katana, a two player samurai dueling card game from Tracy Allen. Um, not a lot to see, bunch of cards. Uh, if you do order directly from Tracy or KatanaCardGame.com, you do get some little bonus tokens. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to put those in the box, so that's a, that's a little bit disappointing. Um, looks interesting. Very distinct aesthetic to these this card game. Very striking. It kind of reminds me of some of the mass market card games my parents used to play back in the day that were variations on standard playing cards where you'd have like cards with two different suits on them. I'm, I'm reminded of that more than say a hobby board game or a dueling card game like say Magic the Gathering or um, Samurai, or not Samurai, I'm not thinking Samurai, or Sorcerer for example, or Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born. Doesn't have that aesthetic. This to me looks more like a mass market game. Uh, again, plays eight plus, two players, half hour game. This is the kind of game that I really wanted to try out because my wife and I, like to go out to coffee shops, brew pubs, restaurants, and bring small portable games with us. And well, look at this. This You can't get much more smaller and more portable than this. Although she might have to try, toss these tokens in her purse. So I am really looking forward to looking at Katana in the coming weeks. Um, be sure to check my social media feeds, uh, Tabletop Bellhop, One Word, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, everywhere, where I'll be sharing my opinions on this game in the coming weeks. And eventually you'll be able to find a written review at TabletopBellhop.com, and you'll see a video review on YouTube slash Tabletop Bellhop. And we're also going to talk about this game on our podcast, which we record Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time, whichever you're on, Eastern Toronto Time, if you will, New York Time, any of those. Wednesday nights, twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop. Uh, myself and my co-host Sean answer your gaming and game night questions. And as part of that show, we review at least one game a night. So you'll be able to see that there. That gets edited into a podcast, which you can find on your podcatchers, Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. It's on YouTube. It's on, or sorry, not YouTube. What well, is on YouTube? But it's on um, Spotify and iTunes or Apple Podcasts, whatever they call it now. Our Heart Radio, all those places. Stitcher, you can find us everywhere. And it'd be awesome if you joined in and listened to that. 
Finally, if you did dig this video, please consider tipping your bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Good night and game on.